got the original single speed mountain bike that I built out been a while since I've ridden this had to put um, some front brake pads on I've stole them for another bike and had to put some pedals on I can't remember why I took the pedals off probably for another bike and a little while ago I made the front ring smaller I didn't make it smaller I put a smaller one on there um, so I'll see what the ratio is like. I can't remember the back, it's either a 16 or 17. It looks like a 16. And yeah, the chain needs a clean. But and I'll see how it goes. I just stopped to let the rain pass with a shower go by. And the guy I used to work with used to say that Melbourne doesn't really have wet days, just showers most of the time. And the showers pass and it's pretty right too you do get occasionally days it just drizzles rain all day and you get some big showers big heavy rain comes through but by and large it's a shower here shower there most of the time and i just check the radar and it's yeah just a real passing light shower this is the diamond creek Looking very muddy, dark brown sort of colour. And the bridge I'm hiding under is Wattle Tree Road. So, um, if you were here, you could say hello. Stop for a rest. This is the bike that I've been wearing the rims out on years ago. Um, mainly the back one. And I noticed that even this one's quite dished. I don't know if you can see it, it's been hard to see. Unless you put a straight edge on it, but um, yeah, it's quite dish, it's probably going to split soon, or I should change it. It's happening fairly frequently. I used to ride this bike a lot, like hundreds of kilometres a month. Now, a lot of it during, uh, you know, days like today where it's muddy. That's why I've got the mud guards on. I think it's the only bike I've got with mud guards, actually. Um... So it sort of naturally gets a lot of grime on the on the rim, and then the brakes obviously grind it in. So and so much so that I've got a stash of 26 inch rims. Look, this, they look just like that that I've gathered up over time. Probably got about six or so. Can't remember. That's not too bad. The front's not too bad. The front's the main one you want to worry about because if the front splits off. And grabs the this, you know, the rim peels off and disintegrates and grabs the top of the brake pad. It'll lock up the front wheel. or could lock up the front wheel. So that'd be bad. Whereas it happens to the back, it's not as bad. It, um, if the back wheel locks up, you're less likely to have a serious crash than if the front locks up. So I pay more attention to the front than the back but naturally the back gets more wear anyway the back seems to be the brake I use just for you know gradual slowing down use it a fair bit uh, of course the front more for heavy braking when the conditions are right and the back also gets a lot of shit thrown up from the front wheel so it gets more combination of those two things it gets more shit on the rim and I use the brakes more on the back so sort of makes sense that it wears out a lot quicker than the front all right the post of death like how they put all this reflective tape on there <laughs> say oh we created a hazard you better tape it up make it more visible well i survived two posts of death live to ride another day That um, noise, I'm pretty sure it was the rear, the rear um, free wheel. Because it's sort of, it's, the, um, the frequency of it, or the cadence of it is more than the cranks. And if, if I just make a certain noise and I stop 
pedaling for a moment and then start again the noise changes and I had a um, that's a Shimano one on the back now I had one that was a Dicta D-I-C-T-A once and it was a similar sort of noise but worse like a lot worse but a similar sort of clucky 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 Might need two hands up here too. I'll see. Oh, I might make it. All right. I really need to get a new front chain ring, a new rear free wheel and a chain. Guy doing it tough with his seat too low. At least he's out there with his kid going for a burn. Good on him for that. Yeah, so a new chain ring, chain, and free wheel. Free wheel, uh, single speed thing. It's a screw on thing, typical BMX type style. I think it's the same thread as the old 10 speed racers. The five, five on the back. There are screw on free wheel as well. I think it's the same thread. Not sure. Well, I know there were flip flop hubs. And they probably still are. Had um, on the other side, the thread was smaller. So I think you could buy a, a fifteen tooth. Um, free wheel to put on that side and the idea is if you go to a track that's a bit longer and a bit faster you can spin your wheel around and go from 16 on the back to 15 but I reckon that would be too big a change it's a pretty big change to go from um, 16 to 15 on the back much bigger change than if you went, you know, 40, 43 to 44 on the front, which is a common, common gearing. I used to race um, 40, mostly 43, 16, 180 cranks, and then on a, a longer track, I was say a longer track with less turns and whatnot. I'd, faster track I should say I might put a 44 in the front and if it's a bit muddy or a, a short track it might drop 42 I think I had a 41 as well but I had I don't think I used it much it's probably still around somewhere should I check out the dirt jumps here yeah. why not Get ducks. <coughs> Tree roots. I might use two hands through here. I can just imagine myself falling off the big hole under the bridge. Lucky I pulled the front up. Can't see any people. Probably a bit wet. Be right for digging though, wouldn't it? Better to um, dig the jumps. It, I don't ride the jumps. If I did, I probably wouldn't ride them now. I want to damage them. Um, kids put a lot of work into making them over. I wouldn't want to stuff them up if I did ride them a lot I'd come down and help dig them but, um, ow. 
must learn how to get off a bike without scratching myself. Get a better look from up here. This is a ramp that the kids ride down. They have to come up here or I'll go wherever really. All these lines, different ones. Some are a bit more overgrown than others. Got lines through there. It's a bit slow. I like those um, deciduous trees someone's planted. I do like native trees, and these wattles and eucalypts and all that. It is nice to break it up a bit though. Some maple trees or oak trees or poplars. Poplars are maybe not the best, but anyway. Or um, plane trees, they're okay. And the greenies around here don't like anything other than native trees or indigenous trees, like local to the area. But, uh, now I can sort of see their point, but it is nice to break it up a bit. And a few other trees, specimen trees, or whatever you want to say. So, this bike is the first single speed that I built up, other than a BMX. I've got BMXs as well, but this is a different. Yeah, changed original forks. I put a quill adapter, a quill adapter in there, and the normal head stem, and these bars. Um, same brakes, changed the brake levers. I can't remember what the original brake levers were, but I changed. Oh, they were plastic ones. That's right, plastic handle. They flex too much. I don't like filming people. Oh, I don't mind, and they might not like it. Here, yeah, so I put these out of the junk box. Two different brake levers, anyway. They both work. Um, change the crank. I should change the cranks twice. There were a, a two two sprocket jobby riveted so I had the chain on the inside one smaller one for a while and I got some I think they were 175s with uh, bolt on sprockets so I could just have one run one sprocket had that for a while then a mate of mine sold with these The astute people amongst you might know what they are. And, um, 180s, so I put those on. I like them. A bit noisy, but uh, it's okay. So I made up a different front wheel. And I wanted a quick release front, so when I, at the time I was putting my bike on the roof, so a quick release front was good. Now the back hub it was a bit of a saga I bought this thing off I don't know it was a chain reaction or something and uh, had these big ass axle on it I didn't pick up when I bought it it's my mistake so I fold some flats in the axle and fold the dropouts a bit bigger to get it in there and it works fine 
been a good hub and I've put and I've lost count of how many rims I've put on it they're going to be at least at least three well, this is at least the third rim I've had on it and maybe four, I don't know um, I do have another set of forks so I got off a bike that was a rubbish bike hang on same sort of thing as this but a bit probably a bit more upmarket instead of being absolute shit they're just shit I'll put those on one day they check the steer is long enough probably is and the right size this is a standard I think it's one inch steerer old standard good thing about standards is there's so many to choose from but you can get inch and eight threaded steerers too so um, I'll check that but I remember the first time I rode this after I made it up with a single speed it's a cheap frame I should have mentioned the frame it's mostly sold as a as far as I can tell a Royce Union bike pretty low end not the lowest of low end but pretty close to it yes I bought it up just to try it out because people single speeds were sort of becoming well were, were popular single speed and fixies I don't know when this was probably um, early 2000s I suppose somewhere down there 20 years ago seems like a long time when I say it like that so that I better give it a go all these wankers might be onto something so I really enjoyed it and I um, remember riding home from work I had no gears no speedo this is back in the days of little little bike computers the little little weeny ones the sensor on the wheel so to tell you the elapsed time and how fast you're going and to put in your circumference of your tire your wheel so I knew how far you'd gone every every revolution and um, I had no speedo no nothing it was very relaxing if you got to a hill that was too steep you had to either, either grind your way up the hill of course grinding meant something different that back then I especially don't video uh, kids usually sometimes you can't help it but you should try and avoid videoing kids how many sick fucks around these days hang on people get all paranoid rightly so anyway so no speedo that's right I was grinding yeah, it meant something different going up a hill in a, a tall gear and sort of low cadence a lot of force I think it meant grinding because you're either grinding your gears or grinding your knees probably both and of course grinding means something different now so probably not a word I should use get in trouble like that English English um, minister and some English minister get in trouble for some website called Grinder or something an app I don't know so I've gone off track and when you get to a, uh, a downhill you can't pedal downhill because you run out of gears or you've got no gears you just roll you've either got to spin like crazy or just roll down and be happy so I remember thinking it was a very uh, relaxing ride and since then I don't know how many thousand k's I've done there'd be at least 10 if not 20 or 30 um, I used to ride to work on this bike a fair bit in various jobs um, did a lot of cog rides out from Mount Evelyn to Warburton or Lilydale to Warburton uh, rode from Yay to Mansfield and back twice on this bike some of those sections were a bit a bit hard but that wasn't too bad it's a rail trail so nothing's really steep um, 
It's been all around good bike. I've actually got a spare frame. I was looking around on eBay and Marketplace for a while and eventually found a, a Royce Union. Same frame. I bought one. Hang on. I was pause for this lady. I bought one from a uh, bloke in Watsonia that was actually not what I thought it was. It was another piece of shit. A different piece of shit. So I think I just pulled that one apart and took it off for scrap. And eventually I did find one that was just like this frame. So I bought it. Pulled most of the bits off. I didn't want it really. I think I kept the frame and the forks. I don't know, maybe the crank. So I think I just kept the bottom bracket in there. Because um, it's really comfortable, this bike. I think one of the reasons I ride it, I like riding it, is it's just very comfortable. And uh, it's strong. I've, I've jumped it, crashed it, ridden it over all sorts of rough stuff. And it hasn't cracked. I'm well, not that I know of anyway. I don't know what it is, I think. It can only really be, you've got, you're forced to push a, maybe a taller gear than what you would do. If you had gears, you might drop down sometimes. And I think the chain going through the derailleur, that's the jockey wheels, probably doesn't add much load, but I reckon it adds a little bit. And of course it's, it's lighter. The back, the back's uh, noticeably lighter than uh, a geared bike. It doesn't have the cluster, it doesn't have the jockey wheels and, and derailleur. So, um, I don't know. It just feels, for a shit bike, it's, it's, it's reasonably well adjusted. Unlike me. And uh, the bike is. But for a shit bike, it actually goes fairly well. I can't really explain it. Are these stupid fucking things? Everyone just goes around it. All the sensible people just go around them. And dickies like me go through. I don't usually. It's quite nice though, this new section of trail. This is relatively new last few years to open this up it's, um, it's pretty good Maybe I'll put the camera away now. I've spoken enough shit at British MPs <laughs> and Grinder. And that's a total increase in volume of that thing. It's less than 20%. Is it 20%? Can't remember. There's a rule anyway. They might have got a they might have got a planning approval to do it. Don't know. I don't know, I don't care. That's where trains go and sleep over the weekend. Have a bit of a break.